Catastrophe Cro, or better known as Cro 64, it is an ARG, alternative reality game, that became very popular at the end of 2020. It is believed that it was going to be released on the Nintendo 64 but for reasons it was cancelled in 2001. Crow 64 begins as a gift from a father to his daughter, a gift from Manfred Lawrence to Thea Lawrence. Thea had drawn a drawing to Manfred that he had loved, that drawing was about a bandaged crow that had a lot of bad things happening to him, that the drawing was called Catastrophe Crow. Later renamed by his father Catastrophe Crow, Manfred was not just any man, he was a programmer, German sailor and perfectionist of three-dimensional models, starting the project of Crow 64 in 1996, everything was going well, Crow 64 promised a lot, gigantic worlds nothing like any other, exploration to the limits and something revolutionary like an eternal resurrection system, according to the documentary. It could be more either a translation error. Manfred Lawrence in interviews had said that Crow 64 would break the player's past experiences and take them to another unknown limit and He was not lying, the reviews of the Space World 97, exhibition created by Nintendo, said incredible things like it was bigger than Banjo-Kazooie or Mario 64 falling short next to Crow 64 and Crow 64 was anticipated to come out in 97 but delayed to 98, then 99, 2000 and finally late 2000, but in 2001 was cancelled by the GameCube release, the game testers would find something that Manfred had not done intentionally. That was a terrible thing, but let's not get ahead of the story. Manfred would go crazy and fire all his employees to lock himself in the office, an employee before his dismissal asked him what about the player? Manfred replied with the player, is gone and later he fired the employee, Manfred Lawrence said gone crazy, I don't know what exactly happened, only the game knows, Crow 64 had been discovered at the end of 2020 by a certain Adam Butcher, who had been investigate the game and also play it on video. At the beginning you would find a game that would not be anything to write home about, it would be something similar to a copy of Mario 64 but changing the character and the setting, it would start as a bandaged crow that would go to look for another, referring to the opening scene that says he hasn't been home for days, maybe he can talk to you, and you have to go to a building that has big letters that make up the word work. Then the crow would go to the building and to the right it would see what EA crow would be going there. Then the crow has to follow that crow which ends up in a kind of computer that is somewhat strange. Because of its colors, the crow would then go to that computer and go inside to end up in a caricatured world, probably a representation of the room at Thea Lorenz, Manfred's daughter. So the crow has to go to pass that scene, which has quite a few color cubes, letters and giant teddy bears, but you don't have to concentrate on that. The crow reaches a kind of wall which he has to climb by jumping between walls. The crow, he finds the crow he was looking for. The crow says words without coherence in a strange language and then... We appear again at the beginning as we have to go this time to a wall on the left which has no collisions. And you can go inside and find, a crow with a computer and a boat and, the crow jumps out of the boat and apparently kills himself next to the computer. The little crow is also swallowed by the water and is sent back to the beginning but, we are not in the beginning scene, we are in another scene of apparently a cemetery, where the crow that commits suicide is crying the loss of another crow, and we walk up to a red staircase and, the game begins to manifest itself, the whole scenario that breaks in the crow is convulsing on the stairs while some strange models approach and,
we appear in a strange beginning, everything is similar to before, but not the same. Now this site is all glitched in the stage collisions too, when you get to the work building. For example, nothing appears when you enter, and you can go through any wall. Then you have to turn around and see there, the house which was shown inside at the beginning before appearing again, with one of the model strangers sitting on a sofa. Then you have to enter the house, and you will see an apparently normal place, with photos of Manfred's family in some normal places, until you enter the last room and, you find that it is Theo Lorenz's room. The camera moves on its own and shows a dying probe that can barely breathe, which is connected to a medical machine and then the room fills with water and... turns dark and they take the dying pro while listening to a realistic scream of a girl, then the game crashes and you can't play anymore. The game has clues about what happened to Manfred and more. In addition to that in late 2001 it was found that neither Manfred nor the development teams were in the Crow 64 offices. Everything disappeared. In Manfred's house, it was not the car in the boat and he found the boat floating in the water off the coast of Germany with a neat pile of clothes and a letter addressed to his wife who had left the country for six months. The letter says, Martha, you are always right, and you still are to this day. It is impossible to know what others are thinking and to code it, to find out why we are cruel to others. We both did what we thought was right and still, we could accuse each other of dementia. You have taken things from me and I have taken things from you. Thus, the world can be kept open. My path is already done. I am finally home. M. It is believed that they were his last words to his wife. But the message was not fully encrypted, and it is still not known as much of what that message speaks. Crow 64 disappeared alongside him, or so it is believed. In 2020, after Adam Butcher discovered Crow 64, many curious users searched tirelessly for what happened to Crow 64, then they found users who apparently, had something to do with Manfred, since the emails of those users when you put them together left the Manfred's email and he could be contacted. The emails were either his fans, a concerned father, his son Niels or his wife Marta, which were actually emails from users posing as them, but to this day no more responding. There is another theory about Manfred Lorenz, and, which is probably the most true and argued, Manfred is said to have committed suicide on German shores, just like the Raven in Out of Bounds Kinematics, who commits suicide by jumping a boat with a computer equipment. This is strong evidence, such as the disappearance of the computer equipment in the Opus Interactive buildings, the disappearance of Manfred's car and boat at his home and that the wife left Germany for six months of the alleged suicide of Manfred Lorenz. In 2002 Manfred Lorenz's boat was found floating, but with nothing more than a pillar of knee clubs, a letter to Marta, his wife, and more things that were not identified. There is a hypothesis that someone is using Manfred's identity to speak to him through the mail, but no more is known. And this is all the information about this disturbing story, undoubtedly one of the best in terms of ARGs, and well this has been a special video 30 subs, remember that the following video will have mentions and the habit you only had to share this video on Twitter and tag me with that mrmask underscore yt, there are only 3 mentions and they end very quickly, so be quick, also anticipate that the next special will be at 60 subs, this will be very surprising for us, 
So if you wanted to arrive soon recommend the channel with your friends, relatives, acquaintances etc. With nothing more to say I say goodbye. I am Mr. Mask wishing you a good day and good luck. This was the story of Pro 64.